Hello, and it's time again for another hot water heater design. Uh, this one uses a comparator, and uh, it's pretty simple to build, and it tracks with uh, using solar panel temperature. Uh, but first, some other news. I have a, a guy who's going to be making uh, uh, plastic mounts for uh, the capacitors. Uh, this is one he built with uh, a 3D printer. You know, kind of nice. We'll see if it actually ever happens. Uh, something else new is uh, we got this nice little heat sink here. And you can get these at like any Home Depot. It's uh, a bracket for holding a 2x4. And it's kind of convenient. It's got holes already in it. Uh, simplifies some of your work. Uh, supposedly he's going to make a little bracket so you can mount this on metal and still have it insulated. And uh, this is the new design. This uses an LM393 comparator. Uh, I started this out as an LM358 design. And then I had a problem with it. Couldn't get it to work right. And so I tried going to a comparator to see if that was the issue. Because the uh, shutdown voltage was not as low as I'd really like it. But I thought it was sufficient. And I found out something new. Uh, this is the comparator over here. And this is the uh, IR2153. And I've bought uh, those a, a couple times. And uh, never had any problem with them. But this uh, batch I bought, I don't know who I got it from. But they're fake. And uh, they still work for most applications. But they're minus the uh, shutdown feature on the capacitor. So if you short out the timing capacitor, uh, the low side goes high and stays high. So that's basically turning on your FETs. Can't have that. And in most applications where they use these 2153s, that really doesn't matter at all, but it does here. Usually I don't care about fakes because, you know, if it's anything close... Uh, I don't design circuits that are very critical, but uh, be aware if your circuit acts really crazy, that's what it could be. So uh, right now we're running, you know, I have uh, another solar controller inside, but I've uh, turned that off. And this is basically what we're doing. We sample the PV voltage, and that goes into a comparator, and we compare it against a string of diodes. I have those diodes right here and uh, took some hot milk glue and put them inside of a heat shrink tubing so it's pretty weather resistant and uh, you can mount these on a piece of metal uh, just outside your shack the the metal would heat up comparably to what the solar panels would and uh, you can track temperature without having to bring a wire all the way out to your uh, panels as long as where you put the uh, piece of metal is roughly close to uh, getting the same sun as the solar panels. But uh, from these five diodes in series we get about three volts and that will raise the comparator voltage up and down. Well, let's see how this works. We got, let's see right now, we're at about 60 volts and uh, 364 watts. And I'm going to do a direct connect. Let's see how much changes. Huh, not much. It's noon time. Uh, I was doing this just a little time before, and uh, we were getting about 100 watts difference. So first, we'll put it in ice, and you'll see the voltage increasing. Now, solar panels are just diodes, and so they'll follow pretty close to what another diode will do. And so we're increasing. And it should get up around 63 volts going into ice. And now I have some 150 degree water and we'll see the voltage decreasing. And 
And the, these numbers are close enough for uh, the type of uh, work we're doing here. We don't know exactly what your solar panels is. Uh, they give a coefficient for uh, voltage change. So here we're down around 50, 51 volts. So uh, that allows you to uh, track and uh, not have to worry about setting it periodically. At my camp, I uh, set it at a fixed voltage, and I go through the whole summer without any worry at all. But this is nice to have it just track a little bit. So, this is just part one. Uh, you know, if there's any interest, I'll actually do the schematic. And uh, I'll be doing the LM58, 358 design. These are LM393s. I bought I bought 50 of them for like under two bucks. <laughs> so you can blow up a bunch of them. But this is designed. We have a pot here to set the voltage. This is the dropping resistor. And this is the comparator. And uh, over here is the R2153. This is the temperature sensor. We just have a resistor. Uh, powering those diodes, putting a little bit of current on it so we can measure the voltage. This is the voltage dropping. And uh, this really doesn't consume too much. Uh, the resistor doesn't have to be this big. You could do uh, two half watt resistors. And I got some things jumpered out because these parts aren't used in the uh, comparator, des comparator design of 393. But they are used uh, when you use the LM358. 358 is very common too. So Again, this is your heat sink. Kind of nice. Uh, this wire coming over is uh, what they call DuPont connectors. These are uh, male over here. They're female on this side. If you're thinking about buying long ones, cutting the waters and wires and splicing it, these only have about three wires each in them. Uh, you have no chance of stripping this and soldering it. So I just solder right onto the connector. And you have the 10K pull-down resistor, the uh, 33 ohm resistor in series with the gate. And that's all it is. Pretty simple to build. So uh, thanks for watching. And I'll uh, do the 358 design later.